Oh, so we are going back to June. That's... That's great. Uh, yeah. Where was the... Oh, hello there. Thanks, pal. So, what else can you tell me about Dunn's death? Well, not much. My memory's not what it used to be. Uh, you'd better ask the cleaning lady. She found the body. It should be her shift down at Sam's diner. The place is close by. Take the main door and follow the street. <laughs> Just wait till you see her. You're in for a treat, my friend. What can you tell me about Sonia Dunn? She's hot, ain't she? <laughs> You two seem to get along nicely. Well, I've known her since she was a baby. But she sure has grown, uh, if you get my drift. I hadn't seen her since she left for college about four years ago. It seems like her father's death didn't really upset her. Well, she likes to play it cool, which makes her really hot. Dunn wasn't black, but he allowed you and Bobby Yale to train here. Yeah, this was the first integrated gym in the city, I think. But not everyone liked that, hmm? You've seen the graffitis, right? If I get my hands on that bastard... What was Joe Dunn like? Uh, he was a decent man. Have you seen all those slogans on the wall? Those motivational phrases? Joe really believed in them. All of them. He played the saxophone, right? Yeah, pretty well for a white boy. But he quit when his wife died. Makes no sense, right? I mean, nothing draws chicks like the brass. Why quit when you're finally free? <laughs> I found an empty wine bottle on the rooftop. Did Joe Dunn drink? Uh, only for a while, back when his wife died. But eventually he quit. After that, he'd only drink on special occasions. Do you have any idea where Bobby Yale could be? Not a clue. I dropped by Bobby Yale's apartment. I think he might be involved with O'Leary, the bookmaker. Uh, you sure? Yale had some dark years, no doubt, but Dunn turned him into a decent guy. I'm no detective. But I wouldn't follow that lead. Do you know any of his relatives? His, his father, Av, Av, Avenarius. Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear 20 years ago? Yeah, and his wife, Bobby's mom, died shortly a a after. Dunn is the closest thing the family the poor kids had ever since. You said Yale joined a gang back in the day? Know which one? Hell, I don't know, John. This is New York City. They are more gangs than people. If Yale's gonna fight the reigning champion, he's got a big career ahead of him. He hasn't lost a single fight since he turned pro. The little bastard beat the socks off me a few years back. I better let you get back to your drills. All right. So finally, we're gonna open that. Maybe we can question Sonia. She's alone now, supposedly. Uh-huh, we found it. Portable, uh-huh. To boost up her... So you grow stronger. We saw it outside by the... Um, homeless guy. Oh, 
Hole in other poems, Abraham Greenberg. That's it? I guess that's it. So now I suggest that we go upstairs. Uh, hold on. Was there something? No? Okay. Suggest we go upstairs, uh, try to talk with Sonia. And then we go outside by and follow footsteps and go and talk to the homeless guy again. Now we can be here. Miss Dunn, can I run a couple of questions by you? If they'll help you find Yale, go ahead. Did you and your father get along? Let's just say our relationship got better when I left for Sunny University. An eight-hour drive from here. Meaning? I'll lay it out for you, Mr. Blacksad. My father, Joe Dunn, disappeared the day my mother died. He became a shell of himself. Joe Dunn, my legal guardian. A man who gave me food, shelter, clothing, and an education. And that's more than you need to know. Did you get along with Bobby Yale? <sighs> okay. Forget it. I wouldn't give a damn about him if it weren't for this stupid gym his stupid fight is supposed to save. Happy? What do you think about Mary, the cleaning lady? Can't say. I, I barely know her. And I'm not one who's quick to judge other people. What can you tell me about Jake? I thought you were friends. Guess I was wrong. He and my father were friends. So don't go down that road. What's in those papers you're going through? Red tape. Great. If you find something, please let me know. I thought you were the detective. You do your job, and I'll do mine. Thanks. That's it for now. I get it. You don't like me. But there's something you need to know. I'm all ears. Rest assured, I'll find Bobby Yale. Duly noted, Mr. Blacksad. So don't mind me, I'm just gonna snoop around your office. I'd like to take a look inside that safe now. Could you give me the combination? I'd love to help you, but my mother's birthday used to be the combination, but I already tried it. Uh-huh. Seemed like a happy family. Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, address, and date of birth. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's the same thing. Yeah, can we skip that? I got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, address, and date of birth. Well, maybe it's uh, her birthday. 
Uh, is it in the book? No. Okay, what about Mind Palace? Okay. Well, what if I select that? And what if I select this? N no, that was not it. Okay, I think uh, we are too early for that. I uh, guess we're gonna come back when we know more. Wait, what, what, what's what's in this corner? Can we? We can't see. Okay. So now we go and follow. Uh, paint. Finally. Oh, can we call someone actually? And who can we call? Let's try to call him again. I think I have a new lead on the dungeon. I found racial slurs painted on the lockers at Dunn's gym. He was pretty open-minded about racial issues. Maybe his death had something to do with that. John, half of the crimes in this city have racial ramifications, unless you have solid proof that it wasn't suicide. My hands are tied. Hmm, I think that's it. Particular? Not in particular. Just something that fits in my mouth. Anything with cheese. Yeah, cheese. Lots of cheese. Okay, so I guess I gotta go to the diner. And then he'll tell me things, maybe. Well, there are no more footsteps, by the way. But I'm going anyways. I mean, I'm outside already, so... There's no point to go back and then go around and then go to the other exit. This one will do just fine. No, that's not the way, okay? to the sudden and unexpected death of death of Joseph Dunn. Private service for family and friends will be held at St. Fergus Church on Friday, October 14, 6, 6 p.m. Okay. He opened it during the war? That's odd. 
Is it? Mary Purnell, the person who found Dunn's body, works a block away from the gym. I'm certain she can give me the kind of information that I... Hey! Watch where you're going, you jerk! You looking for trouble, moron? You better watch it. Go to hell, man! You better not show your face around here! And there you go. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Come back soon. Welcome to Sam's Diner. What can I get for you? Black Sad, Private Eye. I work for Sonia Dunn. I need to ask you some questions about Joe Dunn. Um, sure. But I'm working right now. <laughs> Maybe later? I only see one customer sitting at the counter, and he's asking for your cooperation. All right. What can you tell me about Sonia Dunn? I barely know her, but she looks like a smart girl, poor thing. Any ideas where Bobby Yale could be? How... how am I supposed to know? He's really there when I clean the gym. Bobby seems like a nice kid, but I... I barely know him. What do you think about Jake Ostiambi? Who? Who's that? A big gorilla. Boxer, too. A friend of Joe Dunn's. Oh, yeah. I barely know him. I don't like how he looks at me. Can I ask you about your job? Uh, which one? Tell me about your work here in the diner. Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. My boss. Oh, glad to hear that. How long have you worked at the gym? It's been, what, four or five years? Although, I don't think I'll be able to set foot in there again. This must be really hard for you. I'm sorry. Other than the diner and the gym, you don't work anywhere else, right? I wouldn't have the time, although I'm not sure I want to continue working at the gym. It might be best to stay away from the gym, at least for a while, for your own well-being. In due time, things might change. Joey used to say the same thing. Maybe. I don't know. Thanks. Let's talk a bit more about Joe Dunn. What kind of boss was Joe Dunn? A good one. Always paid on time, never raised his voice. If I asked for the day off, he even cleaned the gym. Can you tell me how you found Dunn's body? Well, I thought I was alone. I clean early in the morning before Mr. Dunn comes in. Oh, so you have keys to the gym? Yes, of course. There was paint on the floor, so I thought it'd be a busy morning. And then I saw him, hanging there like a baby mobile over a crib. Then I think I panicked. When I calmed down, I called the police and waited outside. Sorry, 
That's all I can say. Don't worry. But if you remember anything else, let me know. How was Joe Dunn outside the gym? I wouldn't know. I only saw him at the gym or right there. That was his spot. I think everyone liked him. Thanks, but I still don't get why he'd commit suicide. His wife died years ago. Maybe he never got over it. Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe he did. That was a long time ago. Maybe he simply had money issues. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Could be. The gym didn't really get that dirty lately. I heard his relationship with his daughter wasn't ideal. Oh, really? Poor man. I don't have kids, but that has to be really hard. Can I have a hamburger, please? Oh, sure. Regular or cheese? I think I'll get the cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. You want fries? A drink? No, that's it. Okay. Is that for here or to go, then? To go, please. Mm -hmm. One cheeseburger to go, Sam. Okay! Smells like cinnamon. No, cinnamon and burgers. They look puffy and tired, sleepless nights. Hectic days? Or has she been crying? Perhaps all of the above. Well, it's kind of obvious that he was dating with her because they also had like chairs and wine on the rooftop and she called him Joey. I mean, it's pretty, pretty obvious. Smells tasty. My pal is going to lick his chops. Her handwriting is nice and neat. Your burger is ready. <laughs> All right, I'll let you enjoy your meal. Four people used the back door that very same night. Huh? Well, I might be blind as a bat, but as you can certainly see, I have two wonderfully functional ears. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Thank you very much for remembering the cheese, by the way. <laughs> Four people used the back door two days ago? Yeah, that's right. 
Who was the first person to use the back door? Someone big. Unlocked the door, stepped inside, <laughs> then came right back out. Who was the second person to use the back door? A man. Just a few minutes after the first person. He came back out muttering, Ungrateful bastard. Then, he threw something in the trash, and walked back in. Oh, no, wait. Before that, he gave me a coin. A coin? I mean, do I look like I need spare change, huh? I mean, I'm staying at the Million Star Hotel, for God's sake. <laughs> Who was the third person to use the back door? Judging by the quiet footsteps, I'd say it was someone small. I'd say it was about 30 minutes after the second person came out. Whoever it was threw something in the trash and stood in front of me for a moment. Then, I heard a click. And finally, I heard trailing laughter in that direction. Who was the fourth person to use the back door? Someone big. I recall heavy breathing. The person left in a hurry, running in that direction. Looks like someone used it as a punching ball. I wonder what it's like to be blind. Would I cope? Looks like someone used it as a punching ball. Okay, so two, we had them. Yeah, okay. Where did you get that paint can? In the trash can, in the back. I found it right after the comings and goings. I wanted to see what those people were leaving behind. There's a chest expander in your cart. A what expander? A thingamajig with three springs. Oh, the thingamajig with springs. Oh, I, I got it from the trash back there. A paint can and a thingamajig with springs. What a night. You were acting a bit strange before, but now you seem fine. Why is that? Hey, you got great vision, sense of smell, and hearing. Why is that? Well, I'm a cat. Well, I'm a goat. <laughs> yeah. That's all for now. Thanks. Well, should we? Can we? We'll paint that. And someone threw a paint can in the trash. And, uh, huh? Uh, no?
Well, we don't know. What about uh, this expander? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I know this much. The chest expander in the trash belongs to Yale. Yale killed done with a chest expander. Chest expander in the trash belongs to Yale. Okay, so when there's like a, a notification that I can make a connection. And what do I do now? That's the question. Hmm. What leads a man to do something like this? Life's already dealt me a fair share of blows, but... Doesn't add up. Hmm. 